Are you interested in learning about what's next for Lakewood Ranch? Well, stay tuned because that's what we're going to talk about today. Hi everyone, Courtney Chank is here with Charles Ruttenberg Realty in Lakewood Ranch, Florida. It is officially a new year and we figured we would kick off this year with a recap of the progress that the newest villages in Lakewood Ranch have made and also a look at what's to come for the next year in this wonderful place we call home. So let's get to it. At the start of last year, we shared a video with the five new villages that would be opening in Lakewood Ranch in 2020 and they have successfully all opened. So here's a quick recap and progress update as far as where they are right now. Esplanada Desario was the first to open back in March. So far they have sold more than 150 home sites. They are busy building. The golf course is completed. The bunker bar is completed. The tennis and pickleball courts are just about done. And next they're going to work on a satellite pool and clubhouse for residents to use, as well as some dog parks and a little fire pit area. So it's really coming together and looking like a beautiful neighborhood. They have plenty of home sites left to sell. They also have a whole section of villas that are actively selling. So lots of opportunities to move in there. They have great floor plans and Taylor Morrison is a wonderful builder. So definitely worth checking out if you want that resort style. Solera is also very actively building. This is a DR Horton community. It is not gated and it has a little bit less amenities than some of the other ones, but that keeps the fees really low. They have a great price point for the size home that they offer and they have over 14 floor plans to choose from. So definitely something for everyone. They are building a ton of inventory homes. So if you need something ready relatively quickly, they probably have a great option for you. Lorraine Lakes is also very busy building. This is probably one of the larger neighborhoods that just started. They're going to have close to 1300 homes, I think when they're all said and done. And they are building a wide variety of floor plans as well. So they have smaller homes with three bedrooms all the way up to five plus bedrooms with an in-law suite. So options for everyone and every lifestyle. They are also working on breaking ground on their amenity center, so they'll have that ready to roll hopefully in the next year for residents to enjoy. Windward has their models open and they are actively selling. They sold out of their first phase pretty quickly of the lots that they released. So they're slowly releasing more in each home series. They have some great floor plans. So if you're interested in that, definitely contact us and we can get you on that list to stay up to date as far as when more home sites will be released to build. Sapphire Point was the last to open and that just started selling. So their models are completed. They have home sites available to build, and that is a Pulte community. They don't have any of the amenities started or anything like that, but it is a great opportunity to get in on the ground level of something new and exciting. Park East at Azario was the last village that was supposed to open, and they haven't officially opened yet. They did finally release the floor plans that they will be selling, and they have a good variety that's very different from what they sell in their Esplanade product but they don't have the pricing up or availability as far as when that will be started. Uh, we took a video recently and it's still pretty much just dirt. So they have a ways to go, but I will keep you updated as soon as I find out more about when that Taylor Morrison community will start selling. Now you're probably wondering, well, what more could they possibly build? There's always more planned. So for the future, there's a new exciting development happening called Star Farms at Lakewood Ranch. And this was just announced. It's actually on the same corner across from Park East at Azario. They just put a sign up recently. Right now it's still just a big empty piece of land, but it is 700 acres. It's planned for 1500 homes and it will be a gated community centered around dining and activities. So kind of its own little all-inclusive neighborhood. Um, that's pretty much all the details we have so far. And I will again, keep you updated with more information as that progresses. It's very, very new. I don't even think they have a date as far as when they will be selling it, but um, it is in the works. So something to look forward to. We also heard that MI Homes purchased a plot of land near Crestwind at Lakewood Ranch. So they will be eventually developing that into another new village. I don't have any details or timing, but just kind of a little tip as far as what's to come on the horizon. And lastly, this is probably the most exciting part for me, Waterside Place is really coming along. They have done so much over the past year. The current construction phase looks very similar to the artist rendering that we've been looking at online for months. They're ready to add the landscaping soon. The 
exterior of the buildings are almost done and they predict it will be fully open and operating in about six months. So just in time for the weather to warm up and everybody can be outside and enjoy that waterfront dining and shopping and explore all that Waterside has to offer. That's a quick update on the newest villages. There's so much happening in Lakewood Ranch, tons of new construction opportunities. So if you're interested in moving here and building your dream home, make sure you reach out to us. We can help guide you to the right neighborhood that will best suit the needs for you and your family and also help you decide when the right time to move might be based on your timing and help you figure out all those logistics. So welcome to the new year and we are here for you if you need us. Again, I'm Courtney Chankis with Charles Ruttenberg Realty here in Lakewood Ranch, Florida. Thanks for watching.